Yeah, Pat, I uh, just wanted to ask, um, what, what was going through your mind Monday night when you watched that? I'm sure it's a tough thing to watch when it's a, a teammate, a friend, but uh, take us through kind of your emotions of it and, and what your reaction to it was when you saw it. Uh, I mean, in my mind, like, I ain't never really seen nothing like that happen before. So initially, uh, it just really caught me off guard. I didn't really know what was going on. But I was just kept saying on my mind, like, like he going to get up, he going to get up, he going to get up. And then uh, I just saw how the whole thing played out. And then instantly I just started praying for him and just thinking of his family and just keeping everybody in my prayers and just hoping that it wasn't anything like, uh, like it was and just that it would just be better. But I just kept keeping him in my prayers and his family too. Hey, Pat. Um, know you were his teammate um at Pitt just what type of guy was DeMar um and just what memories stand out of being around him in college uh yeah I mean DeMar one of those guys like wherever he goes he's gonna light up the room uh his personality his demeanor everything about him just just a cool calm collective dude uh just being around him just makes you he's just a likable person he's likable he's genuine he just he's just a really good person Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Chris Thomason, have you kind of talked to Harrison Phillips about the situation? He was his teammate, and is there anything? I know Harrison is planning on doing something, and he's put some things on his website. Anything you're hoping to do with the situation or any other players are hoping to do? Uh I talked to Harrison about it a little bit, but we haven't really gotten the details about anything like that. It's more like just updates right now. Only thing I could think of is just making sure my brother okay. I mean, me and DeMar went way back. We came in together, did five years at Pitt together, left together, got to play against each other, see each other. I mean, the only thing on my mind right now is just, just making sure my brother okay and just keeping him and his family in my prayers. Yeah, Patrick, I'm just curious, just from your perspective, how does this, just the whole scene make you feel and um, as a football player yourself? And, and what do you think it's going to be like when you, you know, get out to practice and get out to the game on, on Sunday after seeing that? Uh, I mean, it's hard. I mean, I mean, it's hard. Like, it's like, like I said, like, that's like my brother. I mean, when you spend every day with someone for five years and you're doing everything together, even during COVID, when everything shut down, we working out together the whole time. Like, it's hard, like, just seeing something like that. Like, it, it, it's really hard. Like, all you could do is just stay strong. And, when, like, whenever I go out there, like, I got to remember, like, like, I'm playing for a lot of reasons, and I'm playing for another one. Like, I'm playing for my brother. Like, like it's, it's, it's tough for us. Hi. Hey, Pat, really sorry about um, the the hardness of this and, and what you're going through. Um, football, a lot of times, can can help move society or the country or sports can through some tough times. Um, how are you guys helping each other move? And, and what what about the resources that that have been available um, has helped? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just being there for everybody. Uh, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just during times like this, you just got to be there for people. Uh, people may be going through stuff you don't know about. Uh, you just got to really just be there for them. And just if they need anything, just like just be there for them. Just pray for people and always just cherish people and their, their presence and everything. <laughs> 